Hello VR Adventurers! You've probably already seen these before. These are the Valve Knuckles DV, now also known as the Valve Index Controllers. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, Valve recently announced that they are releasing a new VR headset, the Valve Index, which will include these Knuckles controllers. Except they are now called the Valve Index controllers moving forward. It's incredible news because this means we are getting another headset this year and this one looks like an upgrade to most existing ones too. Man. Doesn't this headset look cool? Unfortunately, there isn't much info on the headset at the moment, so before we jump into the hype, we do want to see some confirmed specifications first. The full review of this headset is on May 1st, and that is also when pre-orders start. Shipping will start somewhere in June. However, we can show you recent Valve Index controllers updates, and I can tell you already, they are pretty cool, and you can immediately tell that it is improved. All of this coming up in this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join more VR adventures like this one. Before we get started, let me tell you that the ones I have here are the Valve Knuckles DV, the latest version currently released. They are not the finalized version, but I think the consumer version might not be very different. There's been two significant updates since we've shown you the Knuckles EV3 with Moondust. If you haven't seen that video before, I will link it down in the description. The first significant update is a Steam VR Knuckles driver firmware update that allows for better finger tracking. It says this update adds logic for detecting and adapting to a wider range of hand sizes and finger placements based on finger activity over time. This is what the controllers look like, and here you can also see where the cap sense is per finger. Keep in mind this is an old image of the prototype, and it has improved since then. The second update was in Moondust. The tech demo that was made to show off the Knuckles' capabilities also had a big update. This Moondust update now integrates the improved finger tracking updates as well as numerous new interactions, hands and more characters in the game. Since both updates come back in Moondust, we will be showing off the updates in that game. If you want to compare what the older Moondust looked like, then please check out the previous video which I linked down below. Okay. I am in the Moon Dust deck demo version 3.0 and uh, immediately I can see <laughs> that uh, this whole area is new. This is a new environment, I haven't seen this before. And what is this? It looks like it's a scene selector. So that is cool, that's new as well. But first, let's check out the new hands, of course. Let's see if we can see the update immediately, if we notice the difference. Ah, okay, beforehand I wasn't able to do this finger accurately and now as you can see it works super well. So I, I, I did notice that sometimes when I try to use my pinky separately from um, the ring finger it does seem a little bit um, unresponsive. Somehow this uh, works, let's check, can we do peace sign? Oh yeah, you can. You can. It is super sensitive. So the controllers has a couple of areas that are capacitive, and uh, it's capacitive per finger. So if I touch this bottom part, you see that finger goes goes down. Then that finger, and that finger, and this one. So you really do have to strap on your uh, Valve Index controllers correctly to make it work accurately. But uh, so far, I do notice the difference immediately. It is way more accurate than before especially the left hand i think i had a lot of trouble with that but now it works really well okay how about we check out a scene and check what's new in every scene do i select it that way that is cool that is really cool that is way better than what we had before hello Oh, look at that! So they are well, part of the new update as well. They are called Jojefs. Can I grab them? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh, my hands disappears now. <laughs> so a Jojef is originally a character created as an example for third-person control in the SteamVR Unity plugin for developers. I'm so sorry, that's the gravity's work. Let's put him here real quick. Oh, don't. Just, just stay, please. Uh oh. Oh, I feel so evil now. Okay, let's check uh, the new hand interactions. Look at that. The hands are perfectly formed on this rock. That is awesome. Okay, I can 
carry them and then I can cross them. So there's even more instructions on how to check out this demo too. Uh, those texts weren't there before. Oh, there are more of them. Oh, that's so adorable. Uh, I guess that is their home now on the moon, the Jyotjev's home. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, let's do more of these stones and check if there's anything different now. So uh, the goal in this uh, little mini game is to just cross the rocks, check out the new hand interactions and uh, see what the Valve Index controllers are capable of. Yes! And now it flies. Okay, so that isn't different. How about you fly with them? Ah, go forth, my friend, and uh, discover the universe. So this scene isn't much different except they just added a lot of uh, assets like these uh, Jojefs. They are so cute though. Can anyone tell me where I can get these in real life? Please. Look at that, they even got caps on. <laughs> okay, let's check out the next scene. So this was the scene selector before and I think they added a new scene selector as well, which you can open with uh, the B button. And uh, yeah, you can uh, use it this way, which is a lot better because um, you can't, there's no locomotion in moon dusts. So sometimes uh, this could be like out of your play area. So having uh, this scene selector is definitely welcome. Okay, let's check out this thing for now. I love that animation where we just go inside the scene, like we're flying through a spaceship. They are bigger now, the Joe Jeffs. Okay, let's see what we can do with them. There's probably something we can do. Um, yeah. Eh, eh. Ooh, yeah. Go, fetch. Fetch, guys. Can you fetch this for me? <laughs> okay, I guess they are not doing anything with it. Can I attack them with this? Let's check it out real quick. Grenades on. Throw. Bro. Oh my god, I'm killing them. Oh my gosh, that's so evil. Oh, okay, so new one spawns straight away. <laughs> Shouldn't be so evil now. Let's change up the gravity so I can throw a lot further um, without much uh, strength. Mm. Mm. So before... <laughs> Lol, <laughs> that was funny. So before we were uh, only able to hit the targets here for more points, um, which you can still do if you want. See that? So, okay, I think we can use these uh, turrets to play fetch with them. So let's check that out real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is adorable. Uh, oh, they are all running towards the thing. That is so funny. Are they going to steal it though? Oh my gosh. Whoa, relax. Hey, don't take my hand away. Did you see that? They're like, Holding onto it like for life. Oh my god, okay, they really like this turret. So for those that don't know yet, the advantage of the Valve Index controllers is that you now can let go of virtual objects by letting go of the controller in real life, like this. But also simulating throwing, well, it's not actually simulating anymore because you're actually throwing by opening your hands and throwing away the controller, except because it's stuck on my hand, I don't, I, don't, I don't lose my controllers, I don't break them. So that is the biggest advantage to me for these controllers. And uh, the second advantage is of course, this incredible accurate finger tracking that makes VR games just that more realistic and more immersive. And I love how this demo shows that you can even make it realistic on certain objects. Like you can see that on the turret, it doesn't really work. And that is just less immersive to me. But you can squeeze it though, which is very cool. But uh, here on the grenade, it does work, you see? And uh, <laughs> it's just fun. So another advantage of the Valve Index controller is that you now can actually squeeze virtual objects by squeezing the controller. Like what I'm doing now, I'm squeezing it. And uh, as you can see, there are like different sensitivities. You can like squeeze really softly or hard straight away. And if developers add these uh, object animations to it, it will be so cool. You can do so many things with this. Okay, you know, it's time for a uh, grenade. <laughs> so I think that is all of uh, the new updates in this uh, throwing scene. And uh, 
So far, I like it. I think uh, these little characters, they uh, kind of add uh, more interactivity and also just more character to the game. And I love it. I feel less alone on this moon now. So let's move on to the next scene. Oh my god, there's so many of them here as well. <laughs> it's like, they are like habitants of the moon and I'm like invading right now. So let's see what we can do in Puggy Buddy. I think they added a couple of new things. So uh, if you haven't seen this demo before, then I'll just show you what you can do. I have two controllers here that I'm holding and I can control these little buggy buddies. And uh, in here I can actually teleport. It says press trackpad. Oh, what is going on here? It's a leaderboard for a race. Select buggy, choose a controller. Okay, I'm right-handed, so let's try this out. Start race. Oh, wait. Okay. Using my finger. Oh, this looks kind of difficult. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, my poor buggy. Here we go. Ooh, one higher. Ooh, ooh. I can run them over. That's so funny. Oh, there are different race tracks. Now I see it. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm too bad at this. Let's try out the different thing that I saw over here. What is that? Kill all Jojefs. <laughs> yes. Okay, first place 52. Oh, you evil person. Let's check how many we can uh, run over. Let's just use this one. Mm. Oh, they run away from it. That's so freaking funny. Ah, I'm sorry, guys. It's for the leaderboard. <laughs> that is <laughs> really funny. The way that they are running away. Oh, my car, my car. Come back. <laughs> Personal best 19. All right, so there should be one more thing that we could check out, which is a space station. Oh, it's up there. Almost didn't see it. Here we go. Attach components to me. Okay. Yeah. So before, you weren't able to turn around this thing. Like, if you added little components. You won't be able to turn them around. But now you can. There should be some Jojas in here too. Oh, here we go. Look at that. That is so adorable. They're in there. What are they doing though? Oh, you can look inside as well. Do you guys like the view? Yeah. <laughs> so before we were able to use this gun to remove stuff. It's still the same. And we could also remove the earth. <laughs> That's uh, They kept that in. That is funny. Oh, I can't remove the moon though. I guess the moon is more superior. Okay, let's check out the animations. So, before you could pinch and grab stuff too. That looks really realistic. I love it. I'm really curious at what developers will come up with with these kind of things. Let's check what it's like to move the hands and the fingers slowly to the sensors. See if it works accurately. It should really depend on where you place your fingers though. Like. When I place it correctly, like this, it works fine. Yes, yes, yes. So as I've shown you in the image in the intro of this video, there are certain areas per finger that are ca capacitive. So if you place the fingers correctly and strap on your controllers correctly, it will really be very accurate, as you can see here. Now, what about opening my hands? Ah, it's having a little bit of trouble now, but I'm liking it. It is just so awesome to have realistic hand tracking or finger tracking is what I should call this. So those were the Valve Index Controller updates. Interesting, right? We try to contain or hype a little bit ourselves though until we get more information on the Valve Index, but it's hard to do so. Now, you might wonder what our plans are. Well, our plan is to get the Valve Index for this channel, definitely. Although, we are also very curious about the pricing. My prediction for the price of this headset is that it will be higher than the Rift S, and since it looks like it will be an upgrade, I think the price will be more towards the price of the HTC 5 Pro. So, I'm thinking about 800 
US dollars. What are your pricing predictions and what do you think of the new updates? Let us know in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos on the Valve Index controllers or all the videos are linked below. If you want to compare what the Valve Index controllers were capable of before, then check out our Valve Knuckles EV3 video. We've also made a video to show you that the Valve Index controllers work with the Oculus Rift 2. This probably also means that it will work on the Rift S. Check out that video if you want to know what you need to make that work. For the developers amongst us, Moondust is an open source project on GitHub with documentation that you can use to learn or recycle the code for your own VR projects for free. I would recommend checking it out, so I've linked the GitHub project down below as well. And a special thanks goes to Art Armin and a special shout out goes to his Patreon page. To everyone, thank you so much for your support and as always, VR on! Controllers also have a uh, sensitivity for squeezing it. As you can see, I'm now. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> thank you. Hey, give it to me. Yes, thank you.